it's uh, time for another BTS vlog. Let's get the timer started. And let's give us a time and date stamp. It is 15 hours and 20 minutes into the day of Friday, January 17th, 2014. That's right. We are beginning our weekend vlog. Right? That's, uh, that, uh, it's going to be, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Vlogmas, uh, 48 to 50 yeah <laughs> and this takes us this is this is our this is gonna be our last vlogmas uh for the year for for, for the year till next year there will be another vlogmas to this to, till next year i might do more something more like this because uh, uh i do want to sort of demonstrate uh some of the uh feasts the way they are in the church here i extended vlogmas to the entire uh to the entire uh, period of Christmas. Uh, this is was uh, that that existed in the ancient church. Uh, so I think I'll do the same thing again because uh, we have one month left to go before uh, <laughs> just about a month or so to go before we get into uh, what they call the Easter period. We call it Pascha or Passover, and so I think I'm gonna do. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, as well, I haven't decided what I'm gonna call it yet. Well, think about it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, it's it's just about 3:30. Uh, the last I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, the the uh, yesterday's video uh, vlog. I just said well the uh, the vlog for uh, the 15th and 16th uh, vlog must 46 to 47. Oh. Is rendering and it's going to be going up in a few minutes. Uh, just as soon as I finish this section here, uh, I'll be putting it up on, uh, on on YouTube. But it's going to it's going to take about two hours before it finally gets up there. It it it, it does take a long time to really um, upload the material. So, uh, but the thing is, is that what's going to happen is that, that we're going to get up some more episodes this weekend. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what's happening is that uh, we are now. Finally, the schedule has been more or less cleared. We are moving into the new production schedule. Yay! Yay! The new production schedule is finally here. It's finally in room. Uh, uh, there's finally enough room for it, so I am going to get that done. And, you know, there's a lot that's really good that's going along. And one of the things that I think that's good that, that, that this is happening is that you'll see Insta Vlogs this weekend. You'll see Ubuntu BSD, you tell, you tell, uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix Hotel this weekend. And the thing about Insta Vlogs is that in February, I am going to be doing uh, an uh, anniversary special for girls on YouTube. I'm going to be creating a real documentary on this. It's going to be about an hour in length. Uh, I know an hour is long for YouTube, and you know, I can't do the you know, the five minute in depth the way other people do it. Uh, you know, <laughs> in the five minute in depth discussion, <laughs> that's kind of not where I am at. Uh, again, I don't fit into any. And this is kind of began about whole whole thing about body image, about where we fit in society. I don't fit anywhere in society. I have no particular place in society. I don't have any particular group that I belong to. Uh, I'm not a cool guy. I'm not this, you know, I, I, it's, I'm more often than not my own person. Uh, it doesn't matter what situation I wind up in. I'm not necessarily the popular person in the crowd. Matter of fact, I would, I would say, are you, I'm the least popular person person in the crowd and always the proverbial outsider so that's kind of where I come into this uh, and the thing is is that uh, I think this whole girls on YouTube thing deserves a proper documentary on this and where where, where we're gonna end up going on this is that we're not gonna be focusing on girls on on YouTube uh, this whole uh, sort of Back and forth, back and forth between oh guys did this and girls did this. I think that kind of misses the point. Girls don't need to do everything that guys do in order to be as good. The quality has not, you know, and this is the whole thing. Quality is not simply ah he has that I should have that. It, 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 for me, it's more about freedom. It's about individuality. And if you're going to be an individual, why do you have to have something that somebody else has? Why do you have to do something that somebody else does in order to have any self degree of self-worth? I mean, 
I don't care what somebody else does. I don't care what uh, what somebody else has. I, I know what I want. I know where I want to go in life, sort of. Uh, and, and what other people have thought about that has never really deterred me from making my decisions. It's the experiences that I have that help me decide what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Uh, and this, this is sort of coming up when I was younger. Uh, a lot of people around me have the th standard peer pressure for a lot of different things. And, um, of course, uh, one of the peer, standard peer pressures is drugs. Did I try them? Yes. But I had a slight problem with the drugs. And that was that uh, I wouldn't try anything heavier than, than really marijuana. But the thing is that... Uh, the bizarre contradiction that, that, that it presented to me is that I noticed a lot of people were getting high to get into an altered state of mind. And this is sort of the crowd I was hanging out. There were people who wanted to experience altered states of mind. The problem was, I was already there. Even when, even though I wasn't high, I was I had an altered state of mind. I had an altered state of perspective. Uh, and doing drugs didn't do anything for me. I couldn't figure out what you know what was supposed to be happening on drugs. And so, at some point, I was just like, well. You know, it, it, there, there wasn't anything there for me. And because I was already at where most people wanted to come to, there was no need for me to, to, to continue on doing any, any more, you know, doing pot anymore. Uh, it, was, it was the experience, yeah. It was an experience. But the thing is, again, I didn't... The, the drug never affected me. I didn't feel what, every else, or what everybody else felt. It was, oh, it enhances your experience. You think new thoughts and, uh, you know, you see things in different ways. But I think that's, that was normal to me. That's the way I always saw things. So, anyways, um, we are coming to the end uh, of our time, the end of the segment, as the clock ticks down. So, uh, I'll be back in a couple of hours, and we'll continue on this whole topic on Girls on YouTube. Uh, we're going to sort of prepare for the insta law that's coming. And, uh, yeah, have fun like that. All right, take it easy. See you in a bit. Alrighty, it's time for another BTS vlog, another segment of the BTS vlog. Another second segment. So, let's give you the time and date stamp. It is... Uh, let's see, 19 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Saturday, January 14th, no, January 18th, yeah, Saturday, January, January 18th, 2014, let's do that again, 19 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Saturday, January 18th, uh, 2014, that means we are on our 12th day of Christmas, uh, yesterday, Friday was the 11th day of Christmas. This is the 12th day of Christmas. That's if you include Christmas as the first day of Christmas, then today is the 12th day of, the 12th day of Christmas, and tomorrow is Fota. That's known, also known as Epiphany. In Greek, the, most Greeks will call it Fota. So, um, oh, been a really long day. Uh, more cleaning is going on because I'm rearranging my uh, my facilities so I could bring new labs in this summer. That's the whole goal to bring new labs in. I've also also I got the Ubuntu Beastie unit unit to towel. I got episode three out. It's, it was it went it went, it went um, to the editing bay today. It did most of the day for editing. It took me took about uh, between editing and uploading took about uh, four or five hours. To, to edit and upload, not bad, because I, I I I've got multiple systems here. I can offload that work to another system and still work here. So this work sta station stays clear. The uh, editing bay and uploading bay are now one system, and that takes care of everything. So uh, while that's uh, editing and uploading, I can still do work over here, and that's why you're sort of seeing uh, the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV two. Uh, if you see the watch the uh, watch our, pl our our playlist and, and me doing the YouTube stroll, you people say, "Well, Cyborg Alpha TV 2, What happened to Cyborg Alpha TV?" Well, 
when you're uploading to uh, a video to your YouTube channel, uh, you can't do anything on it. it, it, you, it you have to spend all that time uploading. So uh, while the, the, the channel's dead while you're uploading, uh, I have a second channel that I can go on to that's separate from the, that YouTube account. And it allows me to go and do uh, the YouTube show. So I have now, I now have a way to, while the videos are uploading, while things are being done for YouTube on one, for the uh, the main channel, uh, I can still work around on the channel and, and you know, uh, do the YouTube show, find new videos, find new content, um, look at the uh, video production and, 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 you know, production issues. and I can work all with all these different issues here. And the thing is, while it was uploading, I wrote the uh, Ubuntu BSD uh, uh, unit, uh, Ubuntu BSD unit uh, uh, production notes for uh, the ep uh, episode for week week four week week four the week four episode. So next week's episode is already the production notes are already done. It's now just a matter of uh, getting into the uh, filming it. Probably I'll probably film it on Monday uh, because I do realize I've got to get it to the uh, editing bay early enough because it's going to need two days to do the editing on, on, on any of these videos like with Insta Vlogs or, what, or whatever. It's going to need two days worth of editing to do so I need to get put that time in so um, we'll eventually get the production values right. We'll probably get, we'll get everything right. So uh, <laughs> uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we're talking about uh, last segment. We're talking about uh, Morgan Page loves Savannah Brown and the whole thing on um, uh, the uh, special for the girls on YouTube. Uh, I'm still working on that. Once these instant vlogs, once these things get out of the way, the productions will start start on I'll start on production notes uh, for the special. The rough notes are already done for the special. It's now a matter of going through them and sort of uh, making sure everything flows properly. I will probably film it a couple times to make sure that everything goes all right. So uh, hopefully, if, if I can get my production, the production scheduling done right, uh, we should have more content on here. Uh, things should be a little more interesting. And you know, it, 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 I'm going to try to have things for a lot of different people, but. You know, it, 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 it's a challenge. It's a, it's a process here because everything's being done on open source. Everything's being done on equipment that's either upcycled, refurbished, um, or, or, or it's discount stuff. You know, in, in other words, we're not using top of the line equipment here. We're using whatever is around, whatever I can get my hands on, and uh, that's kind of the way things are going right now. And I think that's not a bad thing. It's just that you have to put a little bit more work into it. Uh, to get the results uh, that you want, the results out that you want. Uh, but as I said, this is what I'll sort of point out is that I'm not going to spend too much time with the, uh, the special and the girls on YouTube. It's not going to be a negative. Uh, it's not going to be a negative uh, documentary. It's not going to be oh, what was me? Um, oh, so mistreated on YouTube or. Or I'm so mistreated in life. It's going to look at a, a lot of the positive stuff about YouTube that is often missed when you simply look for the popular. And this is sort of what we're going to do now is looking around my IPTV to, to put to bring up more channels, bring more content on IPTV because uh, on my IPTV because I got rid of my uh, I got rid of my uh, my uh, cable. So without cable, I need something to sort of fill up the time here. And there are some shows that I want to watch that I'm not really watching. I have it on just while I'm doing stuff around here. And so there needs to be something that sort of continuously fills that out. And sometimes I can find stuff on YouTube, but sometimes I can't. So um, it's going to be uh, an interesting sort of uh, 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 challenge to see... How I can bring in open IPTV into this whole environment. Make sure that uh, I can bring out, as I'm doing the IPTV, bring out a lot of the hidden stuff, the good stuff that's on YouTube that just doesn't show up in the um, in the what you call it, in, in in the um, in the subscription feeds or in the um, recommendation feeds. I mean, they're only recommending now. They're only recommending really popular channels. 
and it's based on this whole monetization thing, is that, that if a channel is making money for them through AdSense, this is where they're going to spend their, their, their effort advertising. If your channel is not monetized, even though it has good content, but it's not monetized, because you don't fit the advertising model, it's not that your channel's bad, it's just you don't, you don't fit the advertising model, then your channel is more often not going to be overlooked. You're not going to have the uh, the promotion that the other that a monetized channel will have. And this is sort of what's going to be pointed out in the Girls on YouTube uh, video. It will show some of the problems. It will show some of the um, the highlights that were where girls are doing well in in, in YouTube. But also, we just will focus on the things that are that are missed by popularity. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next segment. Bye-bye. Alrighty. It is time for the last of the, of the uh, uh, Vlogmas vlogs. Yep, this is the end of Vlogmas. The last day of Vlogmas, so let's give you the time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 7 minutes into the day of Sunday, January 19th, 2014. That's right, it's Fota. It's the 12th day of Christmas. I kind of made a mistake because I didn't realize that the 12th day of Christmas... Well, I did kind of realize it. Uh, the 12th day of Christmas starts not on the Christmas day, but the day after Christmas day. So the day after Christmas day is the first day of Christmas. So it's Christmas, then the first day of Christmas... And Fota becomes the uh, 12th day of Christmas. And so today we uh, celebrated Fota. And we celebrated the last day the last day of Christmas as well. And it, it, was, it, was, it, was, a good, it, it was a good day. Uh, we ended up going over a, a friend's house, a close friend's house. Uh, uh, her name is Fotini. <laughs> She's named after today. And um, it's... It, it was, a, it was a very interesting day. I had a really good time, but it was also a very interesting day. You learn things uh, about yourself when you go out and participate in social events. And this kind of brings us uh, back to our uh, discussion uh, where we're going on uh, Girls on YouTube and this whole thing on uh, on uh, body image and uh, Savannah Brown's... Um, uh, slam poetry, uh, uh, what guys look for in a girl. Um, the thing is, is that we realize that when you're different from everybody else, it doesn't matter uh, so much what they think of you as what you think of uh, your own perception. Uh, in other words, you could have a situation where what's blocking you from participating in a social event or, or social discussion isn't the other person's fault, but your own fault because you feel uh, as if you shouldn't be participating in their particular group. But there's also the other, the other uh, side of the coin is that Again, then this was where nobody's fault at fault. It's just that your experiences are so vastly different that you have a hard time relating to what they're talking about, their experiences, because most people talk about their own experiences. So you have a hard time relating to their experiences, and they have a hard time relating to your experiences. In other words, even though you're sitting in a group and you may have known each other for a long time, if your social circles don't actually connect, then your social interests don't connect either, and being part of that group is going to leave you a, uh, the odd man out because the social interactions that you have in your experiences are not the same social interactions that the group has. And so you do end up have it, having this sort of feeling of being left out because you don't feel the connection, the social connection, that you ordinarily would if you had been part of that social group, if, if you had the same experiences. Now, if your social experiences are significantly outside the norm, and the further out you go, 
the less number of people, the less pe the less amount of people will have the same social experiences, and then that this is what becomes isolating, because no matter what group you 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 uh, trying to join to, with or, or hang out with. Your, your experiences are so fundamentally different that you never end up connecting. Again, this isn't, somebody, this isn't somebody's fault. This is just the way the dynamics work. And the thing is, while you can find uh, topics to, to discuss in between, the connection, the social connection, doesn't form because your experiences are fundamentally different. And this is kind of what I experience a lot, is because because my experiences in life are so fundamentally different, so fundamentally fundamentally off the norm, that it's very difficult to connect with any one group of people. So what I do is I pick and choose the groups I, I, I hang out with. And the thing is, is that you know some groups are good to hang out with, some group, but each, each has their own good points and own bad own bad points. But the thing is, if, if you, you know, if you turn your nose up and sort of go, eh, I don't want to do this anymore, then the isolation that you face, the isolation that you have, is your own particular thing. And the thing is, this is true whether you have online friends or real life friends. Like, I have both. I have online friends, I have people that I like hanging out with online, and I have people that I have in real life that I, that I hang out with. And the thing is, I don't hang out with any one group all the time. I go from group to group to group to group. And each group that I go with, it has the, they, they have their own fundamental differences. And that's why they're separate groups. And not necessarily joined together. But the thing is, for me, this um, diversity of experience between the different social groups is what I like. Actually. I like meeting different people. I like meeting and, and, and seeing different experiences. Uh, and for me, that's my entertainment. That's how I kind of enjoy myself. But the thing is that, that none of this has any impact on whether or not I'm thinking positively or not. You know, the, 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 and this is the talk about this is the talk of the whole self-esteem exercise of thinking positive, giving yourself positive affirmations. Um, but that whole spiel there, that whole uh, line of uh, thinking, that if you are uh, are more self-aware, have greater self-esteem, that your social life will change. And that's not always the case. Anyways, we're coming to the end of the third segment. We have one more segment to do, and we will do that right now. We'll come back and continue our thought about social separation. <laughs> right. As this is a continuing segment from the previous ending for ending uh, the 12 days of Christmas ending um, the vlogmas uh, 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 vlogs uh, we're not going to give a time and date stamp because we are continuing and we're talking about the uh, discussions and how social groups actually, and the, the social dynamics actually work in relationships to in relationship to the various YouTube videos you see on YouTube. Well, on YouTube, of course, the various videos you see on YouTube uh, about this various topic. You will have gurus, particularly beauty gurus and other type of gurus, talking about how to be positive. How not to be sad, how to do this, and how, you know, their recommendations. And they talk about their own particular struggles. Everyone sort of brings in their particular struggles, you know, including the struggle to be beauty. And there, was, there, there were, were beauty gurus out there talking about how difficult it is to be pretty. Wow, okay. <laughs> but, anyways, the, the, the thing is, these people were actually serious about it. They were, they were very serious about their feelings, they were very serious about the way they presented things. And so you gotta say, well, okay, maybe this is what they experienced. And the thing is, then you have other people out there uh, who are pretty, they're cute, 
but they don't they see themselves as pretty and cute. These are the girls who will talk about this stuff. And what you will see is you'll see their videos have 10,000 views, 1,000 views. You know, they've got a lot of views on their videos. They, got, they have good subscription rates. Uh, they're up there. Uh, then you will see other girls who uh, are don't fit the uh, what we call the standard beauty mold. They are not what we would call conventionally pretty, and they have their problems. They un they they have come to realize uh, in their life that what makes them stand out from everybody else is that they're not pretty. And you go to look at their videos and, and, their, and their discussions on this. And what you will find is that they will have five viewers, three viewers, as their standard sort of uh, view rate. And the thing is, is that once you see the range and who is in what category, you begin to understand that a lot of uh, the the beauty and our sense of self often has to do with how we see ourselves and has nothing to do in many cases with actual uh, this whole thing about self-esteem. It's not a self-esteem issue. It is uh, uh, how should I put this? It is an overall view of society, of, of, of life. And here's what happens. A person who is negative and sees a lot of stuff as negative and catastrophic and so on and so forth, no matter how much good they have in their life, they'll never see it. This is true of boys and girls. It doesn't matter. This is genderless. Uh, and the satisfaction with life with people who are fundamentally ne negative, and you can see this in haters, is a very bad life. They are never happy. Haters that I've met before, I've seen them, they are not happy people. They're generally people who uh, are angry all the time. And what are they angry with? They're angry with their place in life. They feel they should have gotten more. They feel that they were entitled to more. And they're upset as to why they did not get more. Uh, then there are people who are basically positive. They and, and this is not necessarily a, you know again it's not these these empty affirmations. Oh, you're a beautiful person. I see your inner beauty. You know, talking to yourself in the mirror. These are people who fundamentally understand that yes, they have some bad in their life, but for most of the part, they have a lot of good in their life, and they look at the good they have in their life rather than dwelling on the bad and negative or the stuff that they feel they should have. In other words, their expectations do not rule and drive the way they see life. And so what happens is you can see a, a person who is um, not conventionally beautiful, who is sad and upset, has major uh, depression issues. Then you can also see somebody who is also not uh, uh, conventionally pretty, who has a? They're very, they're very happy people. They're just generally very happy. And you guys say, "Well, what's the deal? The, you know, these both people don't fit the conventional model. What is so? What's the difference between one? Is that there's happiness. It's not self-esteem. It's happiness. And they're happy with what they have. They have. They're happy with. Even though there are is is sadness and they're they're generally happy with with where they are and what they have they see the good in their life the people who are negative who are upset never see this good they never see uh the good that they have they always see the negative and then you go to the, the, the you go to the the people who are conventionally beautiful beautiful and what you see is the ones who you, you don't really see this in, in that because there there's basically Two types of beautiful people. And both of them are, are fundamentally negative. But one is more so than the other. The one that is beautiful and understands that they're beautiful. 
becomes conceited and revels in their own sort of self. They become narcissistic. But the narcissism turns around because they never keep that position. And so they always have to fight for it. So they're never satisfied with what they have. They're always fighting for a larger position. They're always fighting to maintain their narcissism. But then there are people who fall off this narcissistic wagon, who are rejected from this narcissistic society, the mainstream society, but they are conventionally beautiful. But they're just simply rejected from that society. And they feel themselves to be in more of a negative position than those who are fully narcissistic, who have been successful at the narcissistic society. And ironically, self-esteem self is the definition of narcissism. Anyways, uh, this is it. This is the last segment, and the video is coming to an end. Our time is up. I will see you in the next BTS vlog starting Monday in a few hours. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Kalaka Um Happy New Year. Kira to Yutisu Stu Fota. Okay. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.